What is up guys? Today we have a 2010 Chevy Impala. Um this thing uh it has a totally different engine in it, uh, except this one doesn't come with an air pump. Originally it had an air pump and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to actually turn it off uh with the tuner software. But yeah guys, let's jump right this, in. Uh you'll actually need credits. Uh let me see if this thing has loaded. Yeah, it still has not loaded, but the way you can buy credits or the actual tuning site is by going to uh, hptuners.com. Um, I've actually purchased quite a bit of um, credits and if I can find my device. But uh, yeah, you just scroll down. I can't show this part because it has my serial number and all that stuff in it. But uh, yeah, the way you do it is uh, you scroll down and you press add credits on your device. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, as you can see there, I had... 31 credits already um i've used it so many times but uh i'm gonna go ahead and press add credits and uh let me go ahead and get credits the way you do this this is it's 50 dollars each credit uh, and we will need two of them so let's go ahead and add one like that and add to cart wait for it to load there we go uh now that we got universal credits and sorry i'm doing it too low it had my serial number on there also but uh, all you got to do is view the cart, purchase it, and I will show you guys how to actually sync it to the HP tuners. All you got to do is uh, you press help, um, resync interface, and then it'll actually contact the HP tuners uh, website. And uh, let me see here. Oh. I have uh, the thing connected, so let's go ahead and disconnect from that. Let's go back to the... go back to that place right there and let's retry there we go now we actually have it um, synced in there and if you keep saying uh, fail to connect make sure you check check your uh, Wi-Fi signal and um, the way you do this I already made a file for it but uh, you go to engine diagnostics DTCs and this is where your codes will be all you have to look for is secondary air injection which would be right there secondary air injection uh, now what you would want to do with these since I already did it um, all you got to do is just take all of these off right here just like that after you do that X out of here and save your file but when you save make sure you save as Always have a stock file just in case you do something wrong. Um, but after this, I was just, I'm just going to show you guys how to turn off the secondary air injection. This um, particular car, they did not pay for the performance tune, which I usually do. But um, like, there's a lot of things you can do here. Like, uh, let's say just for an example, power enrichment, spark, and torque management. Um, also, speedometer, if you don't want to just hit, I think this one's 108 miles an hour. You can actually change it to uh, whatever speed you want, uh, which you can actually modify also the transmission, shift scheduling, and pressures. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, put this file in, but uh, let me go ahead and pull out the one that I actually did, and I'll show you guys how to do that. File on. All you want to do is make sure your key is on, your battery is nice and charged, and you press right show license options and this is the i can't show you guys either the serial number here but you'd press specific make sure you check your vin that it's uh designed for this vehicle but then you press okay and yes now um all you got to do is uh you press well if you modified the tcm great just press right calibration or um in this case for me i didn't do anything with tcm so i'm gonna uh, not write that it'll um save a lot of time but then you press right and it'll put the car through uh, a whole bunch of lights because what it does it erases the pcm and then writes it again um which like i said that's what it's doing right now fuel level low has a lot of lights on it like i said but uh yeah we'll be right back when it's done complete now i gotta do is just turn the key off and then you turn the car back on. And then to make sure we have fixed the problem, 
all you got to do is just go into well this is what i do go into the scanner or if you have a separate scanner you can do that also but uh i just connect record see how the car is running and then we run we run the dtcs but first i'd like to clear them and let's read them see how it has a secondary air injection but since we have it there we actually don't have a chicken check engine light this won't permanently take it off but it'll take off the check engine light so it wouldn't i mean something that uh it'll tell a car not to be concerned about that way like i said this it'll just it'll just turn it off won't completely remove the code but now all you need to know is hey there's not a problem anymore but yeah guys um hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh like and subscribe if you guys want to see more turning videos please just hit that like button see you guys later